Hello, this is Dan Alford with Arc Specialties. Today we're going to demonstrate the Arc Specialties 2P robotic welding system. The 2P welding system incorporates a robot and two positioners. One for loading and unloading, while the other side is welding. In this case, we've configured it as a plasma welding system. We're running powdered filler materials. This means you can weld materials which aren't available in the wire. In this case, we're running cobalt alloys. But that's not what we're talking about today. Today we're talking about parametric programming. Let me explain what parametric programming is. With normal robot programming, you have to use a teach pendant to locate each point and teach it. But what we've had is Nick Augustine, our project manager on this project, has developed a parametric programming system where you simply enter the geometric data from the blueprint. Since we're using plasma, we can use the automatic torch height control to compensate for small differences in part diameter. So let's go through the process. So let's demonstrate the parametric programming system. Nick has selected a weld schedule with all the parameters from the welding procedure specification, which has been pre-programmed. He selected a heat schedule, which controls the induction preheat of the system. He's entering the part dimensional data. These are complex parts, but all we have to know is the length, the diameter, the desired torch angle, the tilt angle of the part, the table angle, and the position before top dead center for the torch. If you look up in the upper right hand corner, it has a step distance. What Nick wants to do is a five pass weld, so he'll auto populate the field by hitting the auto fill button at the upper right after he populates the first line. This populates the rest of the program. He just created a multi hundred line program to weld this part. For the weld schedule, a preheat schedule, and six pieces of dimensional information. He's just created a program that has five passes and is probably hundreds of lines long. It was that easy. So Nick has generated the part program, but it's always best to do a dry run. So what we've done now is started the program with the arc off just to confirm that all the positional data is good. Looks like we're in pretty good shape here. We're ready to weld. We're gonna leave the screen open so you can see what's going on. In production, everything will be done with this arc video monitor. This is where you get to watch the weld going down. The operator uses the Xyrus arc video system to monitor the welding process. On the screen you're seeing plasma transferred arc welding. Powdered cobalt based stellite filler material is flowing into the weld puddle creating a hard corrosion resistant overlay. The finished part with a cobalt based weld overlay on it. Arc Specialties thrives on problems. Bring us yours. Arc Specialties would like to thank our partners, Kuka Robotics, Miller Welders, and Xyrus Arc Vision.